Hey there guys, so we've been seeing on our YouTube comments you guys saying that you want some more basic videos on how to actually use our tool. If you could see here we have a uh, add to our roadmap or if you go to our profile roadmap you'll see this pop-up, okay? So if we go to this pop-up, we go to our how-to guides, you could add a title, add a description and we'll be working on the most voted. We have our first request here, which is record first task. So this is the video we're going to be doing today. It's something very simple, but a lot of you have been requesting. Let's go ahead and start this tutorial. So in case if we do not have any automations in our workspace, we can go ahead and start capturing these steps. And if we already have an automation, as you can see, I just started this one just a couple of seconds ago, the add automations would be over here. All right, so let's go ahead and wait for the countdown to finish. It is a three second countdown just to get everything ready. And once we finish this countdown, we are going to be seeing these two things. One of them is a browser, which is this one over here. And the other one is the recording bar, okay? So once we start seeing the browser, we can go ahead and start using it like we normally would. I'm going to Twitch in this instance and I am going to show you how we can go ahead and start using these tools. So let's say we want to go ahead and select all of the category lists that exist in Twitch. So we would just browse like we normally would, click on categories, that's what I would actually do. And we would start scraping each of these uh, category titles and the viewers, okay? But that would take us a lot of time. So we have this toolbar here that has a scrape list. And what this does is that it scrapes two of the same elements in the list and it could scrape the text or URL. In this case, we want the text and we want the URL. Let's go ahead and scrape list again the names of the titles and we are going to click URL. Okay, scrape list text is literally what it does. If you just want to scrape the text of a list, let's say just chatting, Valorant, League of Legends, Minecraft, etc., etc., is going to scrape the text of that list, okay? And if we want to scrape the URL, let's say just chatting takes us to another page, Valorant takes us to another page, that is what URL is going to do. I'm going to be using both instances, and I'm going to be showing you what both of those actually does. So let's say that we have an ad here. That is not going to be able to scrape list because this ad does not have the same elements as the rest of the page. I know this is an ad. I mean, this is a bit obvious, but sometimes ads look like actual elements of the list when they are not actual elements because they do not have the same things. All right. So let's say we also want to scrape list the viewers that it has. As you can see here, I also pop up URL, but we don't have to click URL always or text always. We could just choose one or another. In this case, I'm just going to choose text. And as I was explaining, it has to be the same two elements. Let's say we do like the title and the viewers. It's going to show us a pop-up. It says invalid selection. Please try again. Make sure you select two items in order in a list on the page. So that means that you cannot select something out of order. It has to be the two same things. So let's say we already have a link that we want to enter. I'm going to be showing you how we can actually use this URL in order to open it once again, but I'll be on a different video. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and say we want to click on videos. All right. So once we clicked on these videos, we want to select the video titles and the streamer who uploaded these videos. We are going to scrape list once again. And we are going to scrape list the title. We're going to scrape text. We're going to scrape list title once again. And this time I want the URL. I want to also scrape list the name of the streamer. I'll go ahead and select text and scrape list the URL of this streamer. All right. So we can say that we are finished with this automation. We are satisfied. And I just want to address this recording bar for one second. All right. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of data we've scraped. It only displays a maximum of four rows. There are way more links, more titles, more everything. But just for the sake of not being a long, long list, it only shows maximum four rows. Okay. So as you can see here, we have the text, the URL and the view 
viewer count, but that's only text, as well the title and the streamer. As you can see here, we can see all of the steps that we've captured, all right? We could go ahead and do the same things as we can do in any automation. We could allow errors, uh, update selectors, but I'll go ahead and go into this in a different video. Uh, we can also insert filter, parse, URL, delay, screenshot, and a custom code. Let's say I want to screenshot this whole page. I can go ahead and do so, and it is going to take that screenshot, and it is going to be added to the steps underneath. As you can see here, screenshot. But I'm also going to be showing you what this does in depth in a different video, okay? What I really wanted to show you was how we can use scrape list to scrape a whole bunch of items on a whole different page like this. And let's say we want to scrape uh, the text of the actual category. So then in this case, what we would have to do is drag our recording bar and then click on scrape text, the one beside scrape list. And we would click on the element we want to scrape. In this case, it is the category name, just chatting. So I would just have to go ahead and click this. And then this would be scraped as just one element. This would be useful for me to copy and paste. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you in a second what each of these rows or columns actually are. So you could see that in the bottom left, it says complete. And we have the information here in our Google Sheet. So we have the scrape list, which is all of these elements over here because we scraped a bunch of the same things over and over again. And we only have one scrape text, which was the title of the category. I'll go in depth in another video. I know I am making perhaps a bunch of smaller videos, but trust me, when you read the articles, they all connect. So if you wanna go ahead and take a look at our articles, and then we'll be uploading videos for each of those articles, and then we'll be connecting all of them at once in a single video. Uh, but for now, we are going to be doing very small videos on all of these basic topics. So you guys can understand what we are doing, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Have an amazing day, folks.